and best friends. And I had the pleasure of meeting all of them my senior year of high school. And a few of them are a picture behind me. Um, my friends are kind, they're loving, they're accepting, they're grateful for every single day and full of life. And they all just so happen to have severe disabilities. Um, today, I want to talk to you about why the word retarded should be completely erased from your vocabulary and why the word is so offensive. Um, to help you understand why we shouldn't use this word a little better, we're going to talk about exactly what the word means, um, how it affects people, and how you can help spread the word to the word. To begin, we're going to talk about exactly what this word means. And according to Merriam-Webster, the dictionary definition of the word retarded is slow or limited in intellectual or emotional development or academic progress or handicap. For years, this term was used by medical professionals such as pediatricians or psychologists and they would use terms such as mentally retarded or academically retarded. But over time, this word turned into slang and is now used offensively. I'm sure a lot of you have heard people say or do say, don't be such a retard or that's so retarded. And you don't mean to say that in uh, like correlation to somebody with a disability, but it's still associated with them. In fact, medical professionals no longer say that. They say intellectual disabilities or physical disabilities. Um, I used to say this all the time before I met my friends, and like I said before, people don't mean it in a derogatory way towards my friends, but just because that's what everybody says. Um, to help put this in perspective for you, um, think about race and words that are associated with different races, like the N-word, when we're talking about African Americans. Like This word used to be okay to say, but it's not anymore. In an April 2010 study by Gary Sipperstein, he states, that youth clearly do not understand the stigma associated with the R word and the resulting mar marginalization of people with intellectual disabilities that occurs when the stigma is perpetuated. In his study, he tested young adults and teenagers to see how often they would use this word, and over 92% of them used it in their everyday vocabulary. But what he noticed is that when someone with a disability was in the room, that number dramatically decreased. Now that you understand exactly what this word means. We're going to talk about exactly how it affects people. And this is my very best friend, Jake. Um, he and I met last year, and we were paired together on a cheerleading team at my school, and you can see that in the top corner. And he and I were partners, and we performed all the cheers together. And um, he is the most sweet person in the world. He loves to give hugs. He's obsessed with the color green, and he loves to dance. Jake also has a sister who doesn't have disabilities, and her name's Alex. And I asked Alex a few questions, and when I asked her how she feels when people use the word retarded, she said that it hurts even when people aren't referring to my brother or even meaning to be mean. The word is still associated with him, and it's derogatory to Jake. And even though Jake can't really understand what it means, when Alex hears it, that's what she thinks of. Um, my family also deals with this because my nine-year-old cousin has autism. According to the official Autism Speaks website, autism is a general term for a complex group of brain disorders that can range from Asperger's to physical health issues. Ethan is one of the smartest kids I know. He's read every single Harry Potter book, every Lord of the Rings book, can name every single country on a map and its capital, plus multiple facts about it. But he really struggles socially. He doesn't pick up on social cues. He can't pick up on gestures. And he just can't really interact with kids his own age. And my aunt, who is his mom, she worries that people are going to define him by his disabilities and not his abilities. And she's so afraid that somebody's going to use the word retarded or retarded in front of him, and he's automatically going to associate that with himself and think that he's not good enough. So when you use the word retarded in place of something like stupid or silly or dumb, he's going to think, oh, well, I'm those things too. Now we understand exactly what this means. I'm going to show you a video that helps put it into perspective a little bit more. And you might recognize this girl from the movie. Watch that. It's not acceptable to call me a native. It's not acceptable to call me a speck. To call me a chink. To call me a fag. It's not acceptable to call me a cat. It's not acceptable to call you a retard or call yourself or your friends retarded when they do something foolish. The R word is the same as every minority slur. Treat it that way and don't use it. 
Spread the word to end the word. So now that you really have a better understanding of what this word means and how it affects people, I'm going to talk about how you can actually help spread the word to end the word. And the R Word Campaign is a national organization that promotes words like respect, unity, friendship, and helps people understand what people with disabilities really give off, not the word retarded. There are other organizations too, like Best Buddies, Autism Speaks, like I mentioned earlier, and also there are several places on campus. Um, I'm a member of Best Buddies, so if any of you guys are interested in that, definitely talk to me and we can get you a buddy or you can help us out. And also Campus Disability Advocates, they actually had a week-long program on campus where they helped educate people on others with disabilities and promote respect. So I encourage you to, you know, really just think about the next time you almost say that word. And it's hard to eliminate it from your vocabulary. I had a hard time doing it. But just think about my friends, my cousin, and um, hopefully that will help you have a better perspective. Also, I also encourage you to educate others. And the next time your friend says that, just tell them nicely, hey, that's not cool. Say, that's dumb. In conclusion, I hope that you're more educated and you have a better understanding of what the R word means, how it affects people, and how you can help spread the word to end the word. Um, I'm going to leave you with a quote that you can find on rword.org, and it's from a Special Olympics athlete named Donnie Knight, and he says that when you say the R word, it makes people feel bad, and it hurts my feelings, and I don't want you to say it. Instead, call me a leader, a hero, or a human being, but please don't call me the R word. Thank you.